Who you got in this match? Who's your pick? <sighs> I got to go with who I know, you know? I've only seen limited bits of Anthony Henry way down there in Georgia versus Jay Freddy from right in our backyard of Watertown, New York. I'm going with Freddy too. You want to know why? Why is that? Handpicked by the great mood at a rehearsal for his promotion in Japan. Come on. I'm... You can't get a better endorsement than that. No, seriously, I don't think there is a better one. In terms of this entire Limitless card of hysteria here, this is right down the middle. Just that that tech, technician battle that we've been anticipating. I think Muda knows something that uh, America's yet to discover. I think that Jay Freddy is a hidden jewel, as it were. Uh, he's been back in the loop at Beyond Wrestling the past couple shows. And standing toe-to-toe -to, -toe to guys like Jonathan Gresham, guys like Hot Sauce, Tracy Williams. He knows this is a big matchup for him tonight because if he wins, he could be back here in Limitless Wrestling next month. Absolutely. You know, just went through a best of five, best of seven, I believe, with Jonathan Gresham as well. And clearly been tested. Matches, yep. Anthony Henry clearly no slouch. Hanging in there with Jay Freddy at the onset of this match. You know who else really likes Jay Freddy? Who's that? Eddie Edwards and Davey Richards. Another more shining endorsement. Yeah, exactly. Two, uh... Pretty influential guys in the world of professional wrestling. Absolutely. Both sets of shoulders on the mat and the, the get-go here. Double bridges. And look at that form. You think Muda taught him that bridge? No, probably not, but I bet Muda saw and was like, yeah, we want this guy for our promotion who's been. Absolutely. Got caught off guard right there. And Jay Freddy giving up a couple inches of height to Anthony Henry, that could be enough. <laughs> Not able to trip up Henry, but instead just plows right through him. Freddy's a little bit stocky. And he's so explosive. Arm drags, head scissors, both back to the feet, and we got a standoff! I'll tell you, you can have the high-flying contests, you can have the multi-man tag matches, but there's nothing more that I love than a little right down the middle. Grappling and slugging. You like that Johnny Miyagi, do you? I love it. Well, Jay Freddy's not loving it right now. That was a cheap shot. Knife edge chop. Jay Freddy stops his momentum, returns with one of his own. Oh. Mustard on that shot. Separation following in and now sending Henry for the ride. Henry, Henry holds, holds on. on. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a soda. Ow! I don't think Freddie was prepared for that. What do we got here? Uh! Nice and simple. Henry setting the fly. Looked like he knocked him off the apron from my vantage point. Yeah. Maybe a low suicide dive. Your guess is as good as mine. Henry in control on the outside here. Ooh. Just teeing off on the floor. Rolling back in to break the count. Now he's trying to wake this crowd up. We're quietly taking in this contest. Around in the bases. I couldn't tell you exactly what that was, but I just heard a thud of steel. Pretty much all I needed to hear. Freddie sent back into the ring. Couple boot scrapes the head of Freddy. Oh, round kicking for good measure. There we go, Freddy. You can already see the welt starting to form on the chest of Henry. Ah! Oh, Jay Freddy's a bit of a headhunter. Good God. Now for a man with the set with. with 
smaller stature, guy hits like, like a wrecking ball. Oh! Running lifter in the corner. Damn, that's a dangerous suplex. Awkward landing. Good for two. Very easy to get knocked out when you're on the receiving end of one of those throws. And on top of all the impact they've been laying into each other's heads, a knockout almost seems inevitable. Freddie looking for a German suplex. Henry with a go behind, Freddie with a reversal. Trading the waist locks. Back and forth. Looked like a glancing blow with that elbow. Marafuji into the single foot drop kick. Some great evasive maneuvers. And Henry smart to retreat on the floor. Wow! Big ol' suicide dive. What's impressing me most right now is these gas tanks between these two men. Jay Freddy looks like he could go another 45 minutes if he wanted to. And I'm sure Anthony Henry's in the same boat. Freddie knowing he can't get the win on the floor. And instead of going for the pin, it's letting Henry get back up to his feet. Could that have been a mistake? Precision drop kick. Still only good for two. Freddie now trying to target that arm. Henry rolling through. Wow. He's got the lock. lock applied. Quick counter from Freddie since Henry face first under the buckle. Glancing Bicycle out of the corner. I think Henry's trying to get a little too fancy, and Freddie is just so fundamentally sound. Caught him out of midair with that Fujiwara armbar transition into the crossface. Fighting into the ankle lock. It's Anthony Henry. He's got the foot twisted. How many men over the course of wrestling history have you seen this hold put away? Goodness. And this one too! I'm gonna think that Henry was just seconds away from being tapped out there. It's that ring presence. You know, when Jay Freddy first came out, Rock and Roll Part 2, the fans were chanting, hey, you suck. But I think that he's turned a lot of the naysayers around here in Westbrook. Right, you're absolutely right, Denver. No, they seem to be right down the middle at this point. Oh! Big shot from Henry. Neither man a slouch is in the striking department. Brings Freddy over the corner. I'm not sure what he's going to be able to connect with from that position. Again, taking too much time. A rope assisted Garmin Geary, and he's climbing up to the high rent district. Freddy's having trouble finding his footing, though. He's not able to base his weight. Instead, back down to the mat. Oh, wow! First, he was targeting the arm. The opportunity presented what? itself. What? And there's his tribute to Muda, the shining wizard. A little bit too close to the ropes. Tiger driver? Tiger driver! Landed him! Come on! Wow. Two infractions. Gotta think that was Freddy's best opportunity to win this match. Not wasting any motion getting into the pit. Not sure if he was in the best position to get his ankles over the shoulders to really pin Henry down to the mat. Now Cr Freddy may be looking for a diving headbutt. Absolutely, another one right out of his own repertoire. He's able to land on his feet. Oh, God, those bicycles. Oh my God! Jeez! Spinning head kick, snap, German! Short brain buster! Henry's on fire right now! I'm referring to Moodle a lot with Freddy's background, but Anthony Henry just gave us a huge flavor of 90s All Japan. Well, that was the explosiveness that we haven't really seen from Henry all match. Now he's kicking it up to that next gear. Oh! Big old double stop. 
And his Freddy fat. kicks out right back in the ankle lock. Freddy's fighting. The ropes are almost there. I'm not sure if Freddy realizes how close he is. What's he doing? Look at the torque that Henry's got on his leg. Not just the ankle. Tossed him up into the kick. And one more for good measure. Back into that ankle lock. Now he's got that leg barred. As he's raining down kicks, Freddy has no choice but to give up. Match number four here on Nothing Gold can stay. We have newcomer to Evolve versus the newcomer to Ring of Honor here. JT Dunn and Max Smashmaster calling the action. What do you think is going to happen here? Um, if I had a place to bet, I'm going to say Anthony Henry kicks the hell out of Flip Gordon, and Flip Gordon does a bunch of stuff that nobody else in the building can do. But is that stuff effective enough to keep Absolutely Anthony not. Henry down? I don't wow, think. Wow, you don't believe in I don't believe Flip? in what Flip Gordon believes in. Really, really. I think a person like Anthony Henry who's trained and versed in the ability to keep his opponent on the ground and beat him unconscious. I've shared the ring with both of these guys. Uh, and out of the two of them, Henry has always given me a tougher challenge. All right. It's very, well, we see them both going pretty even so far, uh, trading waist locks. Flip pushed into the ropes, an even break. Ooh. A little, that's like the, the quintessential wrestler FU. Yeah, right? right? You're just a little slap when on you, the chest. You can't do the double birds on a PG show, you just give them a nice chest This slap. isn't a PG show, though. You could just do the double birds, but he wanted to really lay it in there. There's nothing I hate more. You know, when someone walks over and they just poke you in the chest, that's like the equivalent of that. I want to slap him in the face. I'll bite you right in the face. Oh, well, don't bite me. I'm just well, doing commentary now. Flip rolling through, here we go, using that agility. He's gonna need all of that agility to get away from the likes of Anthony Henry here. You really don't like Flip Gordon. I mean, it's not like it's a secret. I tweet it probably every day. Oh, kick right to, right to that left arm. Is he targeting something here? Is he Absolutely going right he is. Henry arm? loves to work uh, work over an opponent's arm. It knocks you off balance, especially in the case of Flip. He's not going to be able to, yeah. to propel himself into the air. Right? Yeah, he, he uses those arms as momentum. Absolutely. Absolutely needs them to torque himself through rotations. He needs both arms to climb to the top rope and you do know, any of his he, offense. He's really showing Flip that he's got a little bit more strength, a little bit more drive on him. Driving him back into the corner again. Nah, Flip. Showing a little bit of frustration. Going for a chop. Not a smart idea. For why? I don't believe that was a good idea. Just showboating. What is he going to be able to do out Exerting of this? Exerting all of this energy for what purpose? Now you're even more tired than you were 30 seconds ago, and Harry's going to kick you right Flip in the face. But does get tired? I'm sorry for cutting you off. Does he get tired? No. Nope. He's going to when he gets kicked right inside the head. Oh, all right. Told yes. You. Told all you. Right, all right. I understand now. I understand that. 
Anthony Henry was just waiting and picking his spot. If he he wanted to make sure like he could. Once, he's going to do it again. Absolutely. And laying into him with a heavy chop there. Anthony Henry showing how he can really focus his weight into a nice strike, really driving it into Flip Gordon. Ah, oh, see, he had to avoid using the ropes with his hands. Jumps up there using his feet, another he's, he's one back to his it. feet. Loves a second. Oh, point Flips of the toe right, right into the, the temple. Unbelievable there. All right, Flip regaining a little bit of momentum here. Gonna do what he does best. Gonna use this ring to his advantage. Big drop kick through the ropes nice. there. You know, last time Flip was here, he actually lost to Brian Cage. I know that it, he gives up maybe 100 pounds in pure muscle to Brian Cage, but do you think that could have affected him? Oh, and a kick right the on The loss or the size? The loss could have affected him. Absolutely. I mean, Flip is traveling the world, wrestling every weekend. That is taking a toll. But his mentality coming back into this building, how is he feeling here? Well, right now, he looks like he's in complete control. Absolutely. I, honestly, I, didn't, I didn't think he was going to be able to hit that much offense so early on on the likes of Henry. Uh, who knows, maybe Henry baiting him in, trying to lure him into a false sense of security. There he is. Right Doesn't. off the knees into a front flip, lands onto his feet. He's probably going for a 450 there into an Inziguri using the ref. Henry's really showing his smarts. He's really showing how he can pick an exact spot where he wants to shut Flip down. Maybe he watched tape. He's very intelligent in that He's ring. He intelligent. knows how to dissect you. And you know what? The referee had no choice. It may have just been instinct for him to catch yep. that foot. It is. I feel like human instinct. Something gets thrown at you, you put your hands up. Yeah. Uh, one thing I really like about Henry, a lot of his offense derived around the left arm of his opponent. Loves cross arm breaker, loves uh, Fujiwara arm armbar. But the, my favorite thing about that aspect of his wrestling, once he singles in on the arm and gets you to start favoring it, he starts just belligerently kicking you in the head. Now you're forced to take both of your hands and cover up, and you're giving him exactly what he wants. I your totally left understand. Arm. I totally I like to belligerently kick people in the head, too. <laughs> I don't know a few seconds ago if you heard it, but that... Oh, he's got him in a little bit of a trailer oh, yeah. hitch here. Trailer hitch. See, that's not working in the arm. I think he would have gone for the arm. I would love to see him transition here and switch over to the head of the arm, get complete control of I Flip. Think he, he's doing something very methodical. There, there we go, right into the head. He's trying to wear down multiple points. So when Flip goes for a cartwheel, throws for a flip, something like that, he just can't hit it. Absolutely. Imagine standing on the top rope. You got a bum leg, a bum neck, and a bum arm, and you're going to try to hit your patent at 450. It's not not gonna there happen. for you. Over rotation and or. Even just uh, unbalance on the rope is going to give Henry enough time to knock you off the top rope, which is dangerous. Absolutely. Come up there, throw you off. It gets real bad when you're up here. You know, I, to be honest, I haven't seen much of Anthony Henry until right now. I haven't seen any tape of him. But I saw his tag team partner earlier, and oh my God, did he just knock Flip out of his boots with that forearm. Flip able to get out of it. But him and his tag team partner, the involved tag team championships right out of the gate in their debut, this is a really unbelievable showing, and it's showing you why he has that gold already. I agree. I definitely agree, and I agree with James Drake. I think he's a fantastic talent. He displayed it here earlier tonight. I made sure I was in the window peeking through so I could see what he was about, man. Anthony Henry with a little bit of a Japanese stranglehold, working on both arms, also cutting off the karate already, but Travis is able to get out of it, throwing those forearms. Unbelievable well, shot. Sooner or later, man, that's that's how I, I, I fight people in the ring. Sooner or later, one of those is going to hit the right button and he's sleeping. It only takes one from Henry, but it takes three or four from Travis. Uh-oh. Flying shoulder tackles. Bit. Shoulder tackle. Uh-oh. I don't know if you can see him, but I can't see him right now. All of a sudden, what Flip Gordon. On Flip here? Gordon has, has vanished. He's disappeared. We can't see him. Don't give him your head. Ah, trying to be a smart ass. Yes, that's all, I think that's all he's really done. Maybe he's trying to get into the head of Henry, but it does not seem to be working as Henry mounts a Man. lot of offense and he's connecting what a little cleanly punk with Henry is. Ah, it's clobbering time here in Westbrook, Maine. Flip better watch out. He's about to catch a knee underneath the chin. Uh-oh. Oh, catches it right in the eyeball. Right in the eyeball. Even better. Do another Flip one. Flip Gordon not able to get a hand up, just taking it flush on the eye. 
If that thing swells up, he ain't doing oh, no he's flips. He's looking for a little go to sleep. It's counter. Back there we up. Go for an, an AA here. No push shooting him off. Here we go. Big back elbow right Ooh. on the jaw of Henry. Found flip. one for Is flip he going to do this? Big moonsault. His knee held up. Up onto the shoulders. Flip. Back flip. Samoan drop. All the way up and over. Lion salt. Here we go. One, two, and he kicks out here. I'm glad you're here to call that because I don't know what the fuck just happened. Watch your mouth, and young man. I'm so confused at how he just defied You can curse all you want. I really 45 don't different ways just now. I know moves. I'm surprised his leg held up. I played Fire Pro. Ah, all right. Flip once again to the top rope. And Henry, smart move across. You don't have to run at him. No. Oh, able to avoid it still, even though he gave him a little bit of a tell. All the way up, up top. to the top rope. Loves the super kick. Super kick after a springboard. Henry is rocked. Can't really seem to find out where he is. Does Henry he see Flip? Can't find that button. Giving Flip all the time in the world for a 450. Big 450 splash. One, two, kicks Woo. out of it. Has anyone kicked out of the 450 splash from Flip Gordon in this building? I Honestly, I think that might be the first one. Uh, it may be the first one that happened here. If we're wrong, I'm sure Twitter will let us know. By I'm sure they at will. Us. Don't at me at Max Mashmaster, and then at is it still the juice with no, three? Oh, it's D, DJT Dunn, baby. DJT Dunn, you got it off that old lady who had it for years. Yeah. Uh oh. Flip. This is where the unbalance. He's got. See, flip. He's hit him with his best shots. He's at the top rope. He doesn't really know what else to do. He's giving Henry all the time in the world for something like this. All the this. way up. Big German suplex all the way up the top. He's got to make a cover. He you needs to make go. a cover right now. This is unbelievable. Go, don't worry about the fans, Henry. Yeah, go for the right cover. Now. This guy needs this guy a win. This guy looking at me because I'm yelling. I think we're making people uncomfortable with our amazing yeah, commentary. It's like they've never heard commentary before. It'll sound better on the DVD. Jay, Looking for another he... knee? No, oh, no, oh, close on. My goodness, Anthony. Oh, Larry. I've seen Larry quite a few Larry. Northern Zoo Larrys Larry. tonight. Powerbomb whips him down hard. Two, all the way up. Is he gonna go oh. for it? Crowd transitions beautifully. Very, very arrogant of Henry. A lot of guys love those, uh, those drop bombs on the high shoulders neck. They allow the opponent to kick out only to bait him into the single leg crab. Henry needed to wait for the kick out. He turned him over at one and a half and put him into this. Henry's got the legs tied up, going for a little bit of a regal stretch. He lost it there That's for a second, it. but he's able That's to it. That's it. That's it. Hooks it on Well, Anthony Henry definitely put Limitless Wrestling on notice. Introducing first to the corner to my right, from Providence, Rhode Island, weighing in at 188 pounds, Pro Wrestling Savior, the one, J.T. Dunn. fans around the world welcome to limitless wrestling welcome to prize possession johnny torres on the call joined by top shelf troy nelson and what a clinic of striking we have starting us off top shelf anthony henry meeting jt dunn apropos you talk about prize possession we could be talking about alec price as he takes on anthony mm -hmm. green in our main event for the limitless wrestling championship but if you're jt dunn and you hear prize possession you're saying what's Happened. It could have just as easily been JT Dunn in that main event spot tonight if he could have defeated Alec Price, who overcame the adversity and defeated JT Dunn, who finds himself opening up the card against Anthony Henry. Anthony Henry looked like an absolute destroyer Hello. the last time we saw him alongside JD Drake against MS against MSP. Testing himself now in the singles division. 
Well, how do you do here from JT Dunn in the early going? Very interesting. And like I said, we talk about strikes. It's only a matter of time before those leg kicks become vicious. Uh, you take a look at Anthony Henry. This is his first singles encounter here in Limitless Wrestling in four years, Johnny Torres. It's been a minute. Very much an accomplished tag team wrestler as a member of the Work Horseman, but also an accomplished singles competitor. But against JT Dunn, who's at the top of his game right now, you got to believe JT Dunn cannot afford to lose two in a row here. Rolls through there. Cover. Got it. Oh, one. And rolls over. Henry here. Wait a minute. Right back and crossly. An arm bar. Absolutely. JT Dunn with the wherewithal to get up. Scout it. Hold on a second. Rolling elbow. No. Ducks that one. JT Dunn gets caught with an elbow from Henry. It looks like Henry might have got caught a little bit too. Lightning fast strikers. Both of them. JT Dunn looks a little bit surprised that he got caught there. And, you know, we're talking about strikes. The impactful kicks of Anthony Henry are one thing. If JT Dunn can connect with the death by elbow, I've said it before, the man from the smallest state has the biggest elbow. And that's going to spell disaster for Anthony Henry. And here we are with these forearms back and forth. Yeah, neither man oh. backing down. Both staying in the pocket, but JT Dunn now. Rapid fire. A lot of meat and cheese behind those strikes. Excellent power slam by Anthony Henry. Out of the push kick. What a combo. Certainly no easy way out here for JT Dunn. No shark cut oh. Anthony Henry again. And now I want to see Anthony Henry in his time spent on 205 Live, primarily a singles competitor, getting back into the tag team standings here. Oh, no. A victory against the MSP. You gotta believe he's been more seasoned lately in the singles competition, which could also spell disaster for JT Dunn. No doubt about it. We saw a, a new side of Anthony Henry in that MSP tag team match. He, he looked like a Terminator. Goodness. And not just in the face, he's holding his eye. Yeah. JT Dunn holding his eye in the side of his face. Might have grazed him, but just right. Yarmouth wants blood. <laughs> If there's anybody that they want blood from, it's JT Dunn. This crowd has been all yeah. over JT Dunn post-pandemic. Since we've returned to the live audience format, for some reason, this crowd has had it out for JT Dunn, and he's embraced it. He won't have yep. it any other way. I think it has fueled him. Yep. And you got to believe he's always talked about being in the picture for the Limitless Wrestling Championship. But the proof is in the pudding. He needs the wins. He was hoping to have his first singles opportunity at the Limitless Wrestling Championship. And it wasn't to be absolute incredible context, uh, contest and fresh blood against Alec Price, soon to be available on IWTV. In fact, if you can hear my voice on this event, odds are it is available right now on IWTV. Yes, sir. JT Dunn having to get through Anthony Henry to continue that ascent back up the mountain. Laying oh. in the leather here. Anthony Henry, though. And the crowd has a lot to say about that when they can hear that one. Henry. Anthony Henry's trying to walk it off. I think there's a smile on his face, Ooh. but I think he's trying to hide something. Yeah, that one hurts, doesn't it? The Having impact the billowing off. throughout the Yarmouth and that JT returning fire. The clinch now from Henry. Oh. Each one of these are punishing shots. They are chop. You're going to be able to see it on their chest. Oh, another one from Henry. Ah, uh, rake of the eyes from JT Dunn. Yeah. Does not want to get involved enough. in that game anymore. There it is. Just right like back that, back at it. Oh, and that's going to lay him out. And there it is. It's take home a wrestler night. That fan will be able to take home Anthony Henry. Kick to the back from JT Dunn. We're just slugging like we're in the Budokan right now, top shelf. We talked about how it's going to be a striking contest. We didn't say it was necessarily going to happen inside the ring, John. No, sir. Dunn now bringing it back into the ring. The only place where this contest can be won. Big stop. Dunn now gets the man with the chin lock there, Anthony Henry. Would probably like to make a tag to J.D. Drake right now. Absolutely. J.T. Dunn also find a valuable opportunity to rebuild some energy. Yarmouth now trying to rebuild some energy for Anthony Henry back up to a vertical base. Series are right hands to the midsection, but J.T. Dunn, those in-the-pocket elbows, Irish whip. Anthony Henry, what agility! Henry now going to be trying to mount more offense. Strikes. Anzagiri catches JT Dunn stepping up. 
There is nobody on this card tonight, I believe, and I'm even talking about Anthony Green, that has more to lose tonight than JT Dunn, who is in desperate, desperate need for a victory. And it needs to come at the expense of Anthony Henry, but right about now, it's not looking like it's gonna happen. Step up into the Tornado DDT, JT Dunn puts on the brakes. Oh, caught the high kick. Anthony Henry now set, looking to send JT out. Stop it! Oh, no! Brings that arm and drives a face first into the canvas. JT Dunn with nowhere to go. Henry now going to the top rope. Dunn oh. might be looking at a dislocated shoulder, but you gotta watch that double stop. JT Dunn moves out of the way, thank goodness. Shoot, yeah. Duck, now. Ducks under into the rear naked choke. Rear naked might choke. be. Hits him around. Flurries. Leaves him on his behind. Picks him back. Henry into the cover. One, two. Three. Only two. Very close. Greenleaf on the assignment. Welcome back, Eric Greenleaf. Yep. Fresh off an of injury now. Now looking into this armbar situation, but JT Dunn gets the bottom rope. The referee getting to count a three. Now JT Dunn, who's got to be favoring that shoulder. And look at him. He's trying to get some give back, and he's saying something to Eric Greenleaf. If I am Anthony Henry, who I know is a cardio machine just like JT Dunn, I am saying, on Get back on that shoulder. You have yeah. done the damage. Yeah, if there's, I've never seen a maneuver that looked guaranteed to dislocate a shoulder quite like that oh, landing that Dunn underwent. And now, I think as you had said, Top Shell. Now is the time, and he knows he it. Henry in. knows it. Yeah, he's honing in. Those kicks, those are directed purely. Oh, JT, though, trying to fight through. That arm might be of no use to him right now. Say, Anthony Henry, once again, needs to go for the, the proof oh, is no. in the pudding, needs to go for that arm bar. Wow. Up. Oh, runs that, oh, taking out Anthony Henry, JT Dunn. Gas to capitalize, has to keep going, look for those double underhooks. Talk about a guy able to power through, JT Dunn catching that kick with the injured arm. Now trying to assert that advantage, butterfly suplex, able to duck out of the way, Henry oh, elbow though. Tripping him, very nice. Catches him flush with the knee. JT Dunn now bringing him up. What's this going to be? Yeah. Up. Oh, wow. Curtain call esque maneuver from JT Dunn. Rolls Sitting out, out with it. Very nice. Might be looking to follow up now. Rolling through El Derte. El Derte, that face buster into the cover. Two, three. Only two, says Eric Greenlee. Very close. Anthony Henry with the wherewithal to kick out. And JT Dunn now, look, there's a look of anguish on his face. Very frustrated. And you have to wonder, Johnny, I, I, I'm going to put this out into the world. JT Dunn lost his opportunity, his main event opportunity against Alec Rice. For tonight, the championship bout against Anthony Green. If he loses this one, the opening contest, there's nothing wrong with losing to Anthony Henry. A lot of people would lose to Anthony Henry in this position. But JT Dunn, has, I cannot remember JT Dunn's last win coming against Becca. Not an impressive summer of victories for JT Dunn. And it could be another one. Catches up with a knee. Anthony Henry. Could be brain buster time. Done. Scouted. What a high kick went up. Henry returning fire with one of his own. Not able to capitalize though. You say Henry now looking at it. Look, and Anthony Henry with a look of anguish on his face as JT Dunn trying to collect himself and still very smart. Not back up yet. Kicking that shoulder. Yeah. Neither one can even get 100% out of these strikes now. They are just swinging at the closest appendage. And that's the thing that's interesting. It's that arm, that elbow of JT Dunn. Can he throw the elbow if the arm is injured? If the shoulder's injured, how much muscle will be behind it, Johnny Torres? Henry now inviting Dunn into another gunfight. We're gonna find out. And there it is, favoring it right away. JT Dunn is right-handed. Gonna try to throw some lefts. Look at yep. gonna mix it up a little bit. South by elbows now. I'm not saying getting that, the same stank on him. Exactly. That is not the dominant hand of JT Dunn. And Anthony Henry still has every bit of energy behind those strikes. Nothing behind it for JT, trying his best. Yeah, through that right. I will never question JT Dunn's heart, and you can tell. He's still got fight, putting those strikes together in combination, and that's gonna throw Anthony Henry off. Oh, wait a minute. Might be thinking Kimura. Standing Kimura here. JT Dunn slipping out, oh, crushing elbow. Stepped in with the follow through, that was a big one. Oh, no, Anthony Henry. Crushing thunderous kick. Steps off. Tornado oh, DDT. Rolls through. through. Oh, no. Brain buster. It's above. No, JT Dunn. Dixie Driver. My God. Dixie Driver from JT Dunn into the Ace Crusher. Now's the time. If he can land the elbow, it's a possibility. Icing Torres. on the kick, but what? No way. There it is. JT Dunn gets him. Lands on him. Two, three. He gets him. JT Dunn steals one, perhaps. Oh my Here's goodness! Here's your winner, the one!
J.T. Introducing first in the corner to my right from Augusta, Georgia, weighing in at 185 pounds, all hail Anthony Henry! His opponent in the corner to my left from Buffalo, New York, weighing in at 185 pounds, the aesthetic crippler, Kevin Blackwood. Mind you, if you're the aesthetic crippler, if they're saying he himself is aesthetically pleasing, the crippling is the crippling part. So do with that what you will. Thumbs up from Anthony Henry. Bell rings. We are off. Anthony Henry, no matter what's happening in the match, even when he is maybe he got his back up against the wall, he's stoic. I don't think there's anyone more stoic than Anthony Henry. You can see he reads it on his face. Kevin Blackwood, though, much more serious than he was over a year ago. You talk about the Buffalo Boys. You think about him. You think about Daniel Garcia. You think about the fun-loving Puff, who he still does team with from time to time. You think about Kevin Bennett. You think about those kids from four or five years ago. Those kids have grown up. They're a lot more serious. And you take a look at somebody like Daniel Garcia, where it's taken him. Kevin Blackwood wants to be in the same exact spot. He saw that Daniel Garcia had to strike out on his own, find it, form his own lane. Kevin Blackwood doing exactly that in his own way, doing it on his own terms, brought him to tonight. Oh, a little how do you do there from Anthony Henry. He'll kick when he wants to kick. That was not one of the times. Call, calling his shot like he's pointing his bat at the right field wall. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I do believe that the loser of this match will have one of their tattoos scraped off. That stipulation still lies. That's news to me. Uh, I think that maybe that was last year when they were going to have their match, perhaps. In any case. It's like the stonecutter tattoo. They have to remove it with a cheese grater. But that's, I guess I was misinformed. Headlock takedown by Kevin Blackwood into the head scissors by Anthony Henry. And again, look at his face. He's just... He's in the driver's seat. Even when he, like, he has his back up against the wall, he knows what he's doing. He's a step ahead already, whether he's the one employing that step or not. And Kevin Blackwood. Props to Kevin Blackwood. Not over committing there. R didn't want to engage the jujitsu specialist on the ground. I don't think so. Like I say, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bobby Fish just last week on Christmas Day. New yeah. Japan Power. Yeah, as, as good as, as good a... Uh, as good a warm up on the on strong with Bobby Fish as you could hope for with Anthony Henry. Anthony Henry back around town. Roman knuckle lock there brings him back down. Blackwood's gonna roll through. Go behind, not quite. Go behind, not quite again. Anthony Henry right there brings him down. Could be that. Pa oh, thought that was gonna be that cradle pile driver. Not quite. Takes it away. Shrugs it off. We'll feel an out process. Here we go. Yeah, we're, we're point fighting now. Headlock takeover, head scissors once again, kicks out, does oh. Anthony Henry. Shifting phases. Right back into it, Blackwood. Sneaks out, back up to his feet, taking a breather. No, 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 he's not, see, he doesn't want to engage. Right. And he doesn't have to. No. He doesn't have to, that's up to him. I'm not over committing. Valuable decisions. Wow, the that's, soul butt with thunder. That's going to slow you down. Oh, Blackwood answers back. Oh, yeah, 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 neither of them like that one. Anthony Henry taken aback. Gina not Monty does not wave off the contest as I thought she was about to. <laughs> Thank goodness. Now Kevin Blackwood chaining the offense together. Henry though. The defense, the evasion. Oh. The legs. Gets a double stop that time around. Anthony Henry wants to take a minute. Blackwood perhaps giving a little too much respect to him. Stay on that man. Do not give him an inch. He will take a mile. Point of the elbow driven to the back of the head. Anthony Henry. In the corner now. Kevin Blackwood now. Chop to Anthony Henry. And if that's something you don't want to go tip for tap with, I understand why. And that's why you're going to have to stay on him, Blackwood. It's a unique situation for Anthony Henry to be matching with somebody that's so even, at least can stand in the pocket in Kevin Blackwood. As educated feet as you'll find. Oh, gosh. But then you got an innovator like that. Blackwood striking his way out of danger. Push kick into the corner. Snaps oh. off the dragon screw. Nicely done, Anthony Henry. Dragon screw. Ken Blackwood probably wishes he was on the ground right now. He is in a precarious position being hung up there on the ropes. And the exact game plan Bobby Fish employed against Kevin Blackwood. Utilizing the dragon screw to great effect. And do you think for one second that Anthony Henry did not do his homework? Better believe it, Absolutely. Top Shot. 
Now Anthony Henry sitting in, wrenching away at the toes, at the ankle. Let's say Kevin Blackwood in Limitless Wrestling. You believe that is one of his first appearances in a firehouse in Maine, oh, if you remember oh. all the way back then. This just, the mood just changed. Kevin Blackwood scraped the boot across the face of Anthony Henry, and the mood changed. Blackwood's going to get the answer. Oh, yeah. Get him a little off kilter there. And now we're gunfighting. Yeah, I don't know. Anthony Henry welcoming it, and he's going to try to walk it off. Come on, Anthony. Okay, yeah, all right. All right, put him up, kid. Here we go. Don't leave your hands down, Blackwood. Blackwood getting into the stance, and now... I don't know. If this is a pure striking contest, I gotta go with Anthony Henry. Professional MMA fighter, Blackwood, not a slouch. Oh, oh! Woo! KP! Talk about Fred and Ginger, nothing ginger about that. Woo! Technique out the window. We're just slugging now. Oh, Woo! Blackwood's gonna take Anthony Henry down. Look at his own, Henry. Again, this is why I say you got to match him. This is what we're here for. Snap, Mayor. Kick to the back, walking it off. A little tingle in the fingers for Anthony Henry. The mayor from Henry. Don't just sit there, Blackwood. Get out of there. Blackwood. Oh, yeah. Don't leave your mouth open, too. You'll lose the teeth that way. Oh, just gonna... The face on Kevin Blackwood. Might have been the hardest he's ever been kicked. Now. Oh! Like mine. How do you do? Blackwood fall, lucky enough to fall on the bottom turnbuckle or else he'd be out right now like Anthony Henry. Yeah, a pair of Mirko Krokop head kicks. Right leg hospital, left leg cemetery. And a Blackwood coming in hot. Henry gets the boot up. Oh, T-Ball. Got it. Nicely done by Kevin Blackwood. We're going to go into the cover here. One. Two in the center of the ring. Monty says only two. Thank you for joining us live here on IWTV. Thank you for joining us earlier for Grind Pro Wrestling. Heavy hangs the head, baby. Heavy where's the crown that tonight? The crown. Heavy lies the crown for Beyond Wrestling. Beautiful way. A grand finale of the of the rest of all this three-day extravaganza. Anthony Henry out the back door, sweep of the legs. Penalty kick. Double stop. A double stop across the leg. Twist him up like a pretzel here with this. Ooh, bad part of town. Nicely done, Anthony Henry. With a Peril. couple of how do you do's there for whoever's behind him. Talk about a good front row experience. Get flipped off by Anthony Henry. Kevin Blackwood, there's no way out but this. I wonder if when Anthony Henry looks at Kevin Blackwood, it's like looking in a funhouse mirror. Both men worn out. Good, both competitors. Gunning for that victory here. Testing each other's jaws. You know, we've seen Anthony Henry in tag team action here in Limitless Wrestling alongside J.D. Drake, one half of the workman, work horseman. A recent victory picked up at the expense of the Shook crew. Yes, indeed. One of the top tag teams in Limitless Wrestling. That came up just short recently against Above the Rest, and now both, both trying their hand in singles competition. Anthony Henry receiving end like focus. Returning fire at the Dragon Screw. Oh! Woo. That'll do it. That's enough. Good God! Easy does it. <laughs> Referee Gina Monti laying down the count. Crowd showing their support here. I concur. Gina Monti up to a count of five. We're halfway there. Would hate to see this one end in a count out. Seven. Both competitors having trouble here. Three at the count of nine. 
Blackwood's up. That count, that's up. Yeah, Blackwood able to answer Gina. As was Anthony Henry. Mustering up that strength is Anthony Henry. Oh. Combo there. Up and down. Body shots. Clapping that ear. Whew. Oh. No. Come on. And both competitors willingly taking these shots. Trying to prove their toughness. Only one can win. That's one thing to prove your toughness to your component. Leave with the winner's side of the purse. Sweeps the leg. Now Blackwood pondering the clover leaf. Henry. Two. two. Only two. Catches him up high, right in the back of the brain. Can we going up? Scoops him up. Snowplow. All of it. Cover. Two. Only two. Snowplow nicely done. Picture perfect accuracy. Drops Anthony Henry right on his head. Kevin Blackwood, eye in those turnbuckles. Loves that double stop. With his leg in such a situation, you That's wonder how... That's a problem, yes. Absolutely, Johnny. Takes flight. Nobody there. Henry. Come on! Look at that strike. Unbelievable. Nicely done, Anthony Henry. Now, Anthony Henry quick to follow up. Pop up into the power bomb. Is he done again? Two. Eh, only two. He's going to step through once again. Got to be close to the center. I don't know if that's close enough to the center. Fully sat in. Got the full squat on that lower back. He's got all of the death lock. Kevin Blackwood in some trouble here. Not Finger close tips enough. Yeah. Henry readjusting. Oh. Almost a trailer hitch S maneuver. We saw, saw Ryan Mooney on the receiving end of this earlier. Having to carry Anthony Henry's full body weight is Kevin Blackwood. He gets it. Hank Hill giving him enough gumption to get to the bottom rope. That tattoo. You might say that Kevin Blackwood sells propane accessories. This one was exploding with action. Better Brother, guess. I'll believe and see you later. <laughs> I've had enough. That was a good one. Anyways, Anthony Henry. Oh, Fighting take it a second. <laughs> now Anthony Henry here. Could be a Tombstone pile driver. Employed that to great effect. Blackwood out the back door. Tombstone of his own. Will not be denied. Blackwood once again. Brings it back. Wait a minute. Him up. Hooks him up. It's a battle of can you top this, Johnny Torres? When they'll stop, nobody knows. Blackwood returns to the leg kicks. Fakes low goes high. Scoop up. Tombstone. He's got it this time. No doubts. Gets it. Plants him. But the leg. Knee. Only two. Yeah, added the extra little jump on the tombstone. But well, you had saw how it damaged the knee. Now, the Cloverleaf. Cloverleaf locked in. Nowhere for Henry to go. Wrong part of town. Oh, we had a tap out there. And Blackwood, Blackwood's going to have a hard time keeping that hold, as you can see. A leg in a bad way for Blackwood. And you got to understand, Blackwood. Would love to stay on him, and normally I'd say just stay on him, but I understand you see that limp. He needs to figure out the most effective way to do it all while being able to stand on his two own feet. Now Blackwood. Oh, oh boy. You don't say. The inside leg kick not met with favor. Oh my god! Oh. Saw a stutter step to <laughs> Kevin Blackwood. Oh. Oh, he's not afraid. Henry's Kevin Blackwood is not afraid. Anthony Henry is only standing because of the ropes. Fireman's carry. Gets the crucifix. Yeah, almost got him. Almost got him. Tried to hold on was Blackwood. Gets it. Uh, kicks out. Rear naked show. Body scissors apply. Uh, not, not for long enough. Henry scoots out. Does Blackwood go behind once again? Gets him. 
Got to bring him back down, though. Anthony Henry shoots him off. Big boot to the bush. Henry takes Oh, off. no! He does not take off Johnny Torres. No, sir. Right, the pile driver! Pile driver! Outstanding into the cover. Only two. Gina Monty says two. That pile driver, that's a gear shifter for Anthony Henry. Takes off. Whoa. Buzzsaw Back kick. Hit. Could be a cradle pile driver this time. Yes, Dean gets it. Shout out to Jerry Lynn. Well done, Kevin Blackwood, but I do believe Anthony Henry is going to put it on the board. Here is your winner, Anthony Henry! Introducing first to my right, from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 245 pounds, he is your Thick Daddy, Uptown, Andy Brown! His opponent to my left from Augusta, Georgia, weighing in at 185 pounds, all hail Anthony Henry! Andy Brown, not somebody accustomed to looking to lower body offense as something that he has to worry about with Anthony Henry. That is something that has to remain in the forefront of his mind. No doubt about that. And, and like I said, that these competitors have had eyes on one another and appreciation going straight at it. But so far, dodging one another. No one's acting just yet in the opening moments. And Brown telling referee Nate Speckman to get Anthony Henry back, Andy Brown. And maybe, maybe wisely putting a little kibosh right. on the early momentum of Anthony Henry. One would say that one of the best ways to fight a weathered cage fighter is to utilize the cage. In this case, he's utilizing all the perimeter of the ring. And Andy Brown, no shortage of experience, knows the situation he's in. And using that mass to back Anthony Henry into the corner. But now Henry releasing a strike right to the hamstring of the thick daddy. And another. And we, we, know, we know how much Andy Brown relies on that base to post on to deliver those powerful upper body strikes. If Anthony Henry chops the, the Redwood down at its base, what kind of answer does Andy Brown have? I mean, that's a very good question. You can see though, reaching out, almost clipping one another. Quick flurry from Henry. Brutal, devastating strike, doubles over the Thick Daddy. Andy Brown looking for solace, looking to get away from Henry. And that, the, the terrifying thing about Anthony Henry, his ability to change levels, but Anthony, Andy Brown, his ability to answer, just as terrifying. Able to answer, digging in with a forearm shot of his own. You could see the, the damage that was done to that hamstring. That's the thing about Anthony Henry. He deals that damage quickly and in short stanzas. And he's so slick with it. Oh, jeez. Colliding, Andy Brown. Again, rolling out to ringside, getting a, getting himself a moment to recover, but I don't know if Anthony Henry's going to let him have it. No, not Henry at now. all. The penalty kick. Andy Brown caught it. Wait a minute. That electric chair position. Oh. Weaves his way out, though, and now catches himself before hitting the post. Back elbow to Henry. Andy Brown on comfortable ground. Cartwheel. Yeah. Covered up with a super kick and a D. DDT. That ringside on that hardwood floor. Double A approved. Andy Brown now, obviously very proud of himself for his elusiveness and being able to deliver that shot. And, and it just shows how well Henry had scouted. He had seen Andy Brown, the cartwheel into the super kick, covered up, was able to defend himself against a possible super kick, but Andy Brown instead opting for the DDT. And now, jeez. Huh. Not an answer for an answer. Anthony Henry set up our way. And Andy Brown saying to start the count. I mean, Andy Brown's not above taking a count out victory, I suppose. Here a reasonable doubt, the record book would show a, a victory over Anthony Henry. The winner of our main event may be waiting for 
Andy Brown in the wings. Anthony. Slow to rise. Referee Nate Speckman almost halfway, now halfway through his count. Anthony Henry beginning to stir. Crawling him the aisle way here at the, the arm of Ambats. Andy Brown telling Nate Speckman to count faster. Oh, no, 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 slipped off that rope's nine, but Henry makes it in. But Anthony, Andy Brown, so wise, stays right on top, clobbering in with those shots, but only a two count. No wasted motion out of Uptown Andy Brown. Oh, God. Staggers Henry, now falling into a, into a heap. I can't recall I've ever seen Anthony Henry play the perimeter the way he is now. And that speaks to the sheer force behind every strike that Andy Brown is bringing. Andy Brown, oh, but speaking of sheer force, yeah. devastating strike issued, but delivered right back by Andy Brown. He did a death girl circuit this morning. That guy's ready to slug. Certainly is. Oh, God. Anthony Henry sent down, sheer force to the mat. Was looking for that thick daddy sent on, but it doesn't connect. Now, nursing the, the wounds to the chest, the damage to the back, both competitors finding themselves staggered here at Reasonable Doubt. Anthony Henry knows that Andy Brown puts everything and then some behind that thick daddy sent on. Capitalized on it. Now, Anthony Henry ducking, bobbing, weaving. Irish grip now. Andy Brown with the reversal. Flipping the knee of caught, but Enzigiri to the back of the dome. Split second offense out of Anthony Henry. Now coming in hot. And Andy Brown gets the boot up. Anthony Henry, though, an answer for everything, skips off into the tornado DDT. And quickly scurries to the cover. Only a two count. Henry, though not deterred, does not lose focus. Shift positioning doesn't oh, need to no. be high. Oh no, oh no. Anthony Henry, a master class employer of the double stop in the top of but Andy Brown knows it. Andy Brown rolling out to the apron. Good. Yeah, Anthony Henry miss, miss narrowly. Oh, a team is off. The PK, fully center of the goal. Straight to the chest and now Henry. Bringing back in, picking up speed. One more time. Uh, now the cartwheel. Yeah. No! Oh no! Andy Brown, head over heels collision with the hardwood floor here in Yarmouth. Seeing the Northern Lights off the Northern Lights suplex. Anthony Henry now forecasted the double stomp. Master class practitioner, watch and wait. Oh, but watch the climbing knee strike. Andy Brown, as good as it gets. Looking for COD, but into the suplex. Anthony Henry, quick to follow up. Kamagoye hooks the leg. That could be curtains for Andy Brown, but no. That's across his face. You can't believe it. I don't know if that was the force of will of Andy Brown or a, a muscle spasm from. I, I can't imagine. But Anthony Henry has a encyclopedia's worth of knowledge of what oh, comes next, but a headbutt will stop all of it. Oh, one and three. Straight to the jaw. Oh, caught. Oh, simultaneous stereo kicks. Stereo clotheslines can't take each other down on their knees. That's, oh my God, wiping each other out. Anthony Henry, Andy Brown, reasonable doubt. Our Yarmouth faithful, that ovation, telling us the story. You can see Anthony Henry stirring. Referee Nate Speckman starting his count. Anthony Henry showcasing frustration. He doesn't often get taken to this distance, but Andy Brown tonight has done it, and now, Fancy seeing you here. Andy Brown egging on Anthony Henry. Saying, is that all you got? Is that a question he wants the answer to, Johnny? 
Andy Brown not elevating himself. Maybe a mistake. That's a lethal kicker. Bring some English on this. Bringing up the kick pad. Caught. Oh, knee strike from Andy Brown. Into that cutter. That high tempo offense. Look at the rebound. Andy Brown makes the cover. Oh, but only two for Thick Daddy. But quick to follow up. Tiger Driver. Sits in with the cover. It's not enough for Andy Brown. Crestfallen as ever. Andy Brown soaking in that Mitsuharu Masawa. And now pondering the next move. He's got options. He certainly does. I mean, in this position, does he try to, to muster the strength to go in for the finish him diving elbow? I, I, what, what is it going to take to keep Anthony Henry down? That fatality pile drive. Options on the table. Anthony Henry welcoming it. Sweet death potentially incoming. Finish him and dodged. Well scouted by Henry. Sides that flip, Andy Brown. Oh, he hits it. Finish him. Is that enough? Only two. Masterclass ring sense from Anthony Henry. Knew where he was, knew how to answer that maneuver. Veteran experience, still has the wherewithal, incredible instincts of Anthony Henry, who is still alive, if just barely here, Johnny. How many times have we witnessed Anthony Henry beat the best of the best by that veteran experience, by that ring awareness? And now Andy Brown, the thumb across the neck. We know what's next. Oh! Ooh, straight into a knee. Anthony Brain Henry buster! Now. Oh, look at that power on display. The cover from Henry. No! Andy Brown says no. Defiant as but ever. Anthony Henry, that double stop potentially incoming. It ends them all, the best of the best. Oh, God, that has got to be it. Lights out, Andy Brown, that, what? What? One, one, oh, one. get out of town. Andy Brown kicking it into another gear here, catches another strike. Oh, how? Oh, how? oh God, caught. Pro cop flavor. Andy Brown now being beaten to a pulp here. Anthony Henry laying in. Andy Brown covering himself. He's tapped out. Andy Brown tapped out. Here is your winner by submission, Anthony Henry.